Hey, what's up? Welcome back to The Reality Guys. Brett and Kevin here to talk about Survivor Episode 9, Under the Dragon's Wing. And uh, so this episode, spoiler alert's coming ahead, uh, Kane gets evicted from the island at this point. And uh, I thought this was a great episode all through. I thought there was a lot of really good strategy from beginning to end and uh, some interesting stuff. So, I mean, Kevin, what did you think about the whole episode as a whole? Any Anything that caught your eye? I mean, I thought it was good. Uh, I guess I was kind of more surprised on, like, I think they acted like Kane was, like, some mastermind. But I could, and I could be wrong. Maybe he was doing better than I was perceived to see, but he was. Um, he was. He, he was, was not. No, right. no. So they, that, yeah. they gave they gave Kane a lot of screen time this episode, and right. it's about. I know he had like confessionals about how he was gonna. Oh wow, this just opened my eyes where I gotta like start strategizing and do things, and uh, it led to his inevitable downfall. So I think yeah. he strategized a little bit, but not. A little too late, a little too soon, too late, whatever they call it. But a yeah. day late and a dollar short. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, but yeah, I, uh, other than that, I thought it was pretty good. I like the challenge. I mean, it says a lot when, uh, like, literally everybody but the last two were out within the first five minutes. Um, I would have lasted probably somewhere around like 45 minutes if I were to take a educated guess on how long I could last on that. Um, you're going to last 45 minutes on a challenge that everyone fell at five minutes. Yeah. Well, not everyone, but minimum 45 minutes. Yeah. I would say. Did the winner even last 45 minutes or did she last? Like no, no. Minutes? Well, no, that's how I know I would have won. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so for the, so for the challenge, so this was an interesting challenge actually too. So they had the option to, they, they knew this in tree mail where they could sit out players. They didn't know how many players, but this is the one where, if you want to bench people, you can win rice and they don't have any rice at this point. So if this was presented to you, would you want to sit out for rice? Because we had guys like Carson where it's like, oh, no, I'm sick. I'll sit out. And then no one else really wanted to until we got to the challenge itself. And then some people started uh, opting out. I mean, this comes down to and like legitimately, do you think you can hang like hang with this? I, like yam yam i'm sorry like it doesn't even come down to like hey what if i like have this long shot because long shots like that and these types of things don't exist but like yam yam's like no, i can't not do it it's like bro do you, do you really think you were gonna win this just, just go just sit out like the 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 two people that were like oh like i absolutely can't were the first two out no yeah. so like that yeah. What were, you, what were you holding on for? You you knew you had no shot. I wrote that down. So yeah. So the four people that set out, Carson was sick. Heidi in it, like in the moment said I would sit out. I agree with that. Kane sat out, and uh, Lauren sat out. So I think Lauren didn't like the rain. She's like, nope, I'm not about this. I'm not playing. She sat out. Kane, we hear later, he says that he doesn't think he could win this challenge. So that's when he decides it's worth sitting out, which I mean, that's just like, yeah, you went home, but that's a justified thought. If you, well, yeah, he was promised he wouldn't go home though. That too. So, I mean, I like the the fact that Danny mentioned that Danny said scouts honor. If if you sit out, we will not vote for you, which I loved. I love him putting that in the game and I almost wish he would have respected it. I knew he lied about it, but just to like build that and then, to, to blow build it right. up later on yeah yeah exactly like i mean like you want to get out kane like who cares man get out someone else like i w- i would literally be like okay i want to build the trust with you and what i said and have protection myself if i need it later on and then just like go vote out one of these other random ass people like uh like James if you were Ka- if you were kane you would have believed them I mean, I don't know if I would have necessarily believed him. I would have liked to have believed him. If I were Danny, I would have kept my promise. So right. if I'm going to throw that out there, I would have kept to it just because I don't have to vote you out. I can vote out one of your allies and weaken you. I would. I mean, I, I left I left this episode and my biggest concern was how this dude legitimately thought that because this guy said Scout's Honor, oh, dude, it's end all be all. I'm, oh, I'm safe, everyone. Like, absolutely not like there's there's no way like i would never trust anybody 
especially after the merge. If they're like, oh, dude, I won't, I won't vote for you. I'd be like, all right, fine. How about I don't vote for you and you get off or, or you take a seat. Like, I, I would not have sat out unless, like, well, like, I guess what Kane said. Kane said that he did not think he was going to win, so he thought he would curb you favor if he just sat out. So, right. If I'm, like, I mean, I'm, and if that's the case, and I, I that, and that's what I said. Like, I agree. If you don't think you're going to be able to make it, then sit out, whatever. But, but I mean, yeah. risk, risk, risk the opportunity of being sent home. Don't sit there and act like because somebody promised you they wouldn't, it's not going to happen. Okay, so so in this scenario, I think we would either be the Danny or we would be the Kane. Same like last week, we're the Brandon or we're the Danny, and you have to figure out like how to strategize around that. So if I were Danny, I would have kept to it, kept my promise with Kane, made him my ally, mm-hmm. t- taken out one of these chicks from his side. And be like, hey, buddy, like, I got you. I'm going to take out your alliance member. You're my alliance member now. And uh, I kept my promise and we'll go from there. But I wouldn't have taken him out because, I mean, he's going to have all these girls gunning for him next week. So you, you can't allow that to happen. And if I was Kane, I would have told him, like, basically what I just said. I would have been like, Danny, if you take me out, all these girls are gunning for you. The moment you don't win, you're you're screwed. Out of it. So I mean, that's good. Could that, this is why I would not win, but <laughs> I I think that's a good move. Yeah. Yeah, like the the first two people that were out were um, who was it? It was Rogue. <laughs> Rogue, yeah. Uh, Jamie and Carolyn. Okay, so Jamie and Carolyn fell within like thirty seconds of starting the show. Right. Those are the two I would have targeted. I would have been like, I'm taking out Jamie or I'm taking out Carolyn. Like they didn't want to sacrifice for rice and they sucked at the challenge and messed it up. Screw them. Like they're, they're not team players for me. Right. They're, they're goats. They're goats that I'm leading to the slaughter. And I, don't, I only need two goats. I don't need five. So. Right. Where do you think the cutoff is where it's like, okay. Like I would think that, yeah, I mean, I'm sh- like in my head, I was like, dude, just get the fuck out. Stop acting like you're going to win this thing. That was the one that got me going. But I think he lasted. Oh, he, he was he third? Was he third out? I don't even know. I zoned out. I, I know when I was watching it, two people dropped immediately. So I wrote it down. And then within like a yeah, minute, it was like five, show, yeah. they were down to the final two. So that's what I was like, okay, everyone in the middle, I'll forgive them. But uh, Carolyn and uh, Jamie fell immediately. So I was like, screw them. And then it was Frank. Yeah. So I agree. I, I love that challenge though. That was a good. That's like an old school. Dude, that would be hard as shit. That would that would be very difficult. Um, can I, I can I can I bring up the night like the line of the night, which probably should. What was the name of this episode? Under the wing of a dragon. Terrible. Um, when Is they that, had the per- when they had the perfect setup of enjoy rice's enjoy rice bitches. Uh, as as Kane walked out, I rewinded it because I'm like, "What did he just? What did he say?" Yeah, enjoy the rice, bitches. I was like, <laughs> "Hell yeah, get the hell out of here, dude!" That's awesome. I yeah, I, I still didn't know what he said. I was like, "He said something about rice." Yeah, <laughs> I think they, yeah. Bleep, they bleep it. No, I, I I'm pretty sure. I listened to it like, twice and I didn't know what he was saying. I knew I was like, I heard the word rice, but I didn't. Yeah. Know. I'm almost positive that's what he said. If I'm wrong. Let us know in the comments if you're still here. But yeah, it was something about rice. But yeah. So I mean that challenge was freaking was great. And um so pro- going backwards to, to before the challenge. So there not not much happened. I think most people didn't care that Brandon was gone, but there was an idol search. So we now have a new idol in the game. And um that belongs to Heidi. So what did you think about the idol search? Because for me, I was like, I loved. I mean, Danny's great, man. This dude like just pulls out one liners out his butt, and um, yeah, and like, like like game worthy one liners. Yeah, he has I great one liners. Even at the tribal later, like he says funny one liners, and then mm-hmm. does uh, monologue about some BS that like progressive survivor likes. So I know some of the other people. They, yeah, well, he, he was like, yeah, and I guess we're on different pages about like something. He's like, what does whatever mean to you? When he when he talks. 
he, he likes to say it in one or two sentences and everyone mm-hmm. else wants to tell a story about some crap that right. is boring. Yeah, he's to the point. He's, he's here to win. It's nice. I like it. Yeah. But in the beginning, yeah, he, he's like, I, I'm checking five trees. I'm bringing back firewood, checking five trees, bringing back firewood. Like he was looking for that idol. I thought he was going to get it. And um, then Heidi finds it. It looked like she literally was walking down the water path. And was now like, they, they showed her that you said this earlier, like all, oh, all fair. and uh, <laughs> she they showed her earlier that her and um, somebody else, maybe Franny, were also looking like he was going through it, like his little montage of looking in all the trees. And then, yeah, they didn't look nearly as in like intensely as he was. But um, you could tell they were searching and like, looking around. But I, I don't know. I just, she got the idol. She played it well. She didn't like say anything to anyone. She at the, at this point, the amount of idols, it's almost like th- they're all just trained to be like, put it right in the pocket, just keep walking, act like nothing happened. Which is what I would do. Which is what I would have done. It never made any sense to me why people got excited and like drew like drew attention to themselves. But it's gotten to the point now where everybody's like, all right, let me let me find now an excuse to get back to camp and hide this. I can imagine like the amount of anxiety I would have (laughs) if if I had an idol in my pocket and somebody was just like, what's that in your pocket? You know what I mean? Like shit like that would scare me. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like it would be awful because you go through every scenario in your head. And just like the cadence that they present it to you, you're like, uh, uh, I wasn't prepared for that one. You know what I mean? Yeah, Carol, Carolyn's like, what's in your pocket? Right, right. I'm just happy to see you. Right, right. Like uh, some nuts. I don't, I don't know. No, yeah, I would definitely get anxiety if I was if I was trying to uh, find an idol and if I found one. I would. I don't know how I would react. I probably wouldn't react. I would not scream. There's no way I would scream. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I would I would grab that and be just like I'd probably I'd probably flip off the camera, honestly. I'd probably be like, screw you. I don't think I don't even think I would do that. I think I would literally just be like do like a and just just keep going. Like, I mean at that point, there's no fake idol out there. Even, even if there is, even if there is, you go to like your confessional time or your interview time and pull it out there. Like Oh yeah, I mean that's when you you, you gloat about it in your interviews, not in the, not in person. You just great, yeah. Just, like, fuck you. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> that would be awesome. It would be such a great feeling to find idol. How cool would that be? There's like there's like few things How do you do in that? in shows that like it's like oh that would be the best. One being like I'd like a true daily double, and two being. I would like to use this idol or finding an idol. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, so I'm, so I'm watching big brother right now, sir, or, or uh, Canadian big brother. And some people are getting eliminated without winning HOH head of household. So mm-hmm. that would kill me to be, to be on the show and not have won a single competition. I would be so pissed myself. So like same thing with survivor. Like if I go on survivor and I don't find a single idol, I'm going to be so pissed. Right. When it came to would would a would a deep season immunity win like between you and let's say seven people would I mean, that okay, would so, that suffice? That's fine too. If I, if I if I win, okay. So I mean, if I'm if I'm on Survivor, uh, I expect to win immunity at least one time, and I expect. To find an idol. So if I don't do at least one of those two things, so you have to have both. Okay. All, right. All right. I'm um, trying to I'm trying to think what would even be better on Survivor. And I, I think like the best would be either like a sick ass blind side or like winning even like 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 top five winning that immunity. Would it be better to have, find an immunity idol? Or win immunity, top five guaranteeing you top four. I mean, uh, I'd rather find an idol than win immunity one time. So I, I know you just said top five, top four. 
I don't have time to really process that thought. That's probably, that's pretty far. So that's important. But I would like, if we're just talking about any random immunity, I'd rather find an idol. I would rather find an idol and have the opportunity to hold on to it or play it or do whatever I want with it than just like win a random immunity. Like, so I don't, I, I don't remember. Did we talk about, would you sit out for this challenge? Because I would want, want to sit out to build favor because there's challenge beasts on the show and they don't win. The yeah. Because the moment, they I mean, win, you did ask this and I, I said, I, I said I would, because I knew I wouldn't be able to win this challenge. And then we went on that, but yeah, I mean, the benefits of it are to what you're saying is just like saving face with a bunch of stuff, looking like a martyr for the better of the tribe. And I'm like, if there's four of you already out of what nine, ten, how many are left? Then you're gonna blend in with that crowd. It's not like it's not like it's definitely be like, dude, Kevin dr- dropped out of this. Like, what a wimp, or like something like that. Like, it would be like, oh, well, there was like those four. They dropped out. You know what I mean? As much as I'd want to like be the 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 challenge beast, the survivor, and just win out through the end. These games are so hard and unpredictable. There's no way. So I have to, I, I would throw one to win favor with the group. Mm-hmm. I think that would probably be the best map, like the smartest move. Yeah. And I, that's kind of what Kane did and it bit him on the butt. So, you know. Right. Right. So, what the fuck do we know what we're talking about? But in a way, like, I feel bad for you. He didn't do anything wrong. He just was the wrong place at the wrong time. It, realistically i guess like if it broke down even if he did do it he wasn't gonna win let's be real and he even knew that so like the chances of him going in were just as strong so yeah you know i I listened to uh shout out to snuff and torches with uh tommy smokes from barstool sports and the gang but uh they they, they're team kane they're the kane gang over there so if you go listen they're gonna i haven't listened to that are they good yeah, they're good. They're funny. I mean, they're just like dude. Talk about somebody that's like super like that. intelligent, but like who's super intelligent about about Survivor. Tommy Smokes like really is like he he's a, a super fan for sure. He's a super fan. Like half half his guys are super fans, and like one or two. And I think just like one guy is new to it, but over there, I like listening to them too because I mean they have a similar vibe to us, where it's very like laid back and mm. just like like we're not pc i guess in a way like we just kind of say we're just like if we were to just like film a bunch of dudes sitting around and watch talking about the show after they watched it it's kind of yeah. so i like that I'll, I'll have to check it out if you get on uh get us join with them well, hey let us on we uh we know things plug us we plug can talk about yeah yeah, so uh, going going back though to uh, the episode, so um, with Kane, so Carson, I th- so I thought Carson was aligned with Kane, and he just basically like let him go. So I I, I sort of watched everything that happened after the challenge. I actually watched twice. So Yammy Am, um, he was the deciding factor behind this Kane vote, I believe, because he had a thing earlier where he's like, everybody that writes Jim Jam down gets voted out. Josh, Brandon, whoever else was in there, and now Kane. Kane had written Jim Jam's name down. He's like, he's gone. So I thought this was a very strong episode for his winner edit. Um, that he gets rid of people that write his name down. And he's, he's yeah, I guess that's a good point, but it's also such a dumb like it's such a dumb way to play the game. You can't you, just because somebody wrote your name down. You're now just like, all right, you're on my shit list forever. Yeah, but I mean, like, would you expect that for somebody like when your vote doesn't? That just means he's playing the safe vote every time. If he can't understand that, like, does he deserve to go home because he put somebody down and it they didn't get like the vote didn't go his way? Does that does that literally make him all right? Your target number one? No. But if anything, I mean, you could, you could, I could see you play that. So, I mean, obviously if he's at final and he tells people this story, that's going to be good. But before that he could tell if he was sitting next to a cane, he could be like, 
Kane doesn't vote right. Kane never voted right once, which he didn't. So I wrote that down. Kane never voted right a single time um, at merge, I guess, at least. So <laughs> <laughs> because he did, he voted for uh, whoever else he voted, Danny, I guess, and was wrong. Yeah. So do they need to make like baseball cards of these things with their stats on the back with all this stuff? I try to keep track of it. So that's um, hard. Yeah. I mean, a little bit. So, yeah, I mean, Jam Jam told us that he, he, I mean, he got rid of Kane. So K- Carolyn had a confessional where she wanted to get rid of Danny, but she, sw- she was swung towards Jam Jam's position and got rid of Kane. So he had some leverage there. I don't know where Carson, I'm actually, so I, I mentioned Carson like two minutes ago. Why did he vote out Kane? If I were him, I would have sided with Carolyn and taken out uh, Soka, a Soka member like Danny. Cause I thought, well, I thought he was close with Kane. Well, well, I think it's sorry, it's sorry, Brad. I think it's starting to get to the point where the they're starting to feel like it's one tribe. Yeah, there there's still numbers and alliances, but it's it's been fairly obvious that alliances don't necessarily mean anything at this point. So, like, I, you keep going back. Like, why why would like why would he not go after and like keep whatever? Because I, I don't think he wants to work with it. He probably never did. Just because like you live next to these people doesn't mean you're that that loyal right i mean so we don't we don't see that we got a lot of camp live this episode but we don't we still don't know that like for me i thought carson was closest to his his purple tribe and kane i thought kane was like the one other guy that carson was closest to but then carson's uh, carson's nasa right yeah he's nasa guy all right all right from, I'm uh, sorry, I just want to make sure. Yeah, from from Atlanta, Georgia, represent. Oh, hey, oh. Yeah, so I actually, I was talking to a guy last Chipper night Jones. that knows Carson. And um, he's like, dude, Carson lost at all the weight he gained on the show. He lost already. <laughs> so he's like, oh, really? He's like scrawny and 100 pounds again. Yeah, so. Damn, and he lost weight to get on. Oh, no, he gained weight. Get on. Yeah. yeah. So he was looking like Peter Parker. And now he's just looking like Peter dead. So, <laughs> and he's uh, probably gone far. I mean, he could win. Who knows? I mean, I, that purple tribe, like one of one of those people's, one of those people's winning. Like, I think I, I'll call it now. I think one of those people's winning. Out of Carson, Carolyn, and who's the other? Other uh, two, Jam Jam. Yeah, yeah, they are the stronger one for sure. Stronger group. Yeah, I, could always, I could only see one of them winning or see i mean i said i said lauren earlier i don't know i, I i'm gonna hold to lauren lauren and franny dude, I, I think i picked her at the beginning i, I like lauren because dude she's she's under the radar right now she's gonna make a move and it's gonna be a strong kick at the end it's gonna be nasty but you know like something like that she it, shit's about to hit hit the fan around here hopefully one of those or, five is winning. I, I mean, every other person is not winning. There's no way. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah, like this is, where, this is where you kind of get to know. That's like <laughs> half the trial. But yeah. <laughs> Danny ain't winning. Heidi ain't winning. Frank, uh, no, I already said no. Franny could win. That's nah, probably Franny could win for sure. I could see a way she wins, but and I don't think I would have picked Kane out of that. Like. As ever winning, I could have seen Kane winning. He he had like a Gabler type edit, a little ish. He reminded me of uh, what's his face that's on. If he survived this episode, I'm like, oh. okay, I could see Kane winning. But... It's on the challenge. What's his name? The dude with the cowboy hat. He reminds me of him somehow, like like a quiet, just bigger dude. Ben, I think his name. Ben, is that his name? You said Ben. Yeah, he's a cowboy. That's like he I'm was just like a, a, a quiet guy. Hmm? I'm trying to think of cowboy hat people on the challenge. He's the only survivor guy that's also on the challenge that always wears a cowboy hat. It's Ben then. Yeah. He wasn't that quiet, but anyways. So I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty much done. I mean, I think I think we ran through everything that I, I wanted to talk about. Carol, Carolyn mm-hmm. has a backstory this episode, but I don't think it was a huge backstory. It was like a little taste of. I mean, we literally all knew exactly 
that she like we knew this and i said this i think day one I was like obviously she's an ex user i didn't realize how long it was good for her I'm very proud of her that's awesome that's a good um, point. so do you think her personality is because she has a big personality or do you think her personality is like developed over drug use like she's just been become like so i think it's her natural personality but she, whether or not whether or not she is more outgoing because she is used to something like that and like that's her way of expressing and doing things is like i don't know uh, i don't know but I, I don't think it was they could have it, it probably influenced it but she was probably a, a super bubbly person prior to drugs in general I wouldn't, I, say, bet, uh, I wouldn't say she's bubbly. Well, uh, yeah, that was, like, it was kind. Of... She has like internal monologues externally, where she just like screams and yells at herself, but then she does it like in public. Yeah, yeah, she's an interesting one. I, I like, dude. I I like her more and more every every week. What? I like her more and more every week. There's something about her being just like herself that. I respect. And I think she could win because of that. No, I, I mean, I like her. I, I like her person out on the show for sure. She's definitely an off the wall person, her character. So mm -hmm. she's better than a, she's better than a Jamie or a, or a Lauren. Both of them are kind of boring. So Lauren, Lauren plays it safe. She keeps her cards close to her chest. So that's good. Yeah. They can win. Jamie, there's no way that chick's winning. She doesn't. She's she's crazy, but she's not crazy in like a, a fun way. She's crazy in just like a shut up way. <laughs> yeah. Like Jamie, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Which um yeah, so I, I think I mentioned that ten minutes ago. But so Kane, he went home with Jamie's idol, <laughs> her fake idol. Oh oh, I, oh did he? Okay, I didn't realize that. So they all swapped things. So Lor so Lauren's uh, two vote is gone. She gave it to Jamie. Jamie used it. It's gone. Uh, Jamie gave her fake idol to Kane. He left. It's gone. She thinks it's real. So there was a trailer where she's like, "I there's no alliances anymore." Like she's just out searching. So she's probably no. She wasn't searching, but she she had like a quick little thing where she was like, "There's no alliances anymore." Like tri tribal lines, whatever. Like her well, her tribe's gone. It's her and Lauren versus the world. Plus, her idol just got decimated. So that's interesting. I think I think Jamie's going to be in final three, and I think she's going to lose for sure. Um, now that her Jamie's idol, going final three, yeah, Jamie's final three. She's gonna lose. I don't, I don't see that, but she's not a threat. No one gets rid of her at this point. She's her 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 idol, fake idol's gone. She's she's easy picking. So like if if I'm somebody in this game, I'm picking her up and I'm taking her under my wing so that I can bring her to the final three and beat her because she's she's dumb. Who's the other one? The um, they're like the same age. Heidi. I don't know. I Heidi, yeah. Um, I think she could. I mean, if you're looking at it that way, she's yeah. also she's just as quiet and kind of has been in the background of stuff. You know what I mean? I don't think they're making. I I honestly think that these people all still see Carolyn in a weird way that they think that she's going to be the shield. And she's going to get up there and she's going to kill, like, she's going to get top three and she'll kill that speech and, like, the, the jury. Carolyn, Jamie, Heidi, final three. Carolyn wins. No, it'll be Carolyn, Jamie, Lauren. I don't know. I think Lauren could beat her. So I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know. Yeah, I have to I'm telling you, if they bring, if they bring her to top three – as a shield and she kills it, she's winning it. Like you, you can't like like dude, I literally if Carolyn's in fine if Carolyn's in final three, she wins. There's no way she doesn't. Right. I thought you were saying Lauren might beat her. No, 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 no. Car I, oh, I, I mean I was, which is why I was saying Lauren isn't gonna sit next to her. There's no way. Oh, oh, oh she's not gonna win. gotcha. Like, okay. I, like I think Lauren could beat her, which is why I don't think Lauren is gonna sit next to Carolyn. 
Like I, I, well, one of them is not going to be sitting next to the other because I think they both care. Or Lauren has too many friends on the jury. I think so. There's no way that Lauren beats Carolyn's. So I don't think Lauren would end up there if Carolyn's there. So I think I could see Carolyn either being there and winning or getting cut out within the final five. I'm gonna have to like think about it. I mean, I'm full in on her. I, dude, I'm loving her. Yeah, I'm I mean, like, I'm now cheering for her. I hope she wins. I think she will. There's not that many. There's not that many people left. I mean, I, I know, but like you said, you know, Danny's Danny's not long. He's literally target numero uno. Uh, uh Franny and Heidi. I have no idea. Franny, Franny is a little fan favorite. Yeah. We got two minutes left, so I mean, yeah. Just any final thoughts? I mean, just yeah. I'm no. Gonna, thank you for listening. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for listening. If you're if you're listening right now, thank you for uh, participating for the next, for the thirty minutes or whatever. Yeah, it was a good one. <laughs>